Hi right, guys, so it's been a little bit since I've done like a anime review kind of thing, so I wanted to talk to you today about um, Kono Oto Tamare, which is an anime that just finished in the last season, and I just caught up with it. It's been on for like uh, a couple of days now, but uh, I just caught up. I've been super busy. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this one specifically is one, because it finished last season. I don't know if it'll get a season two, but I really hope it does. I don't think so, though, with how many uh, manga volumes are out for it. But this is a show about the koto, which is like a Japanese classical instrument, and it's a, obviously a musical anime. And if you have any interest in like musical animes or Slice of Life or something like that, I definitely recommend you check this show out just for the main fact that it does something surprisingly well. Like some animes really struggle with it when they're musical animes, like Your Lie in April, where they made it way too dramatic and didn't focus on the music as much. Or no to me, no cantable. Like they didn't do a very good job at showing me what like bad music was and good music, because no to me, she plays something, and I'll be like, well, that sounds good, and then she plays, it, and then they'd be like, oh, that sucks, and then she plays something else, and they're like, that sounds amazing, and I'm like, it sounds like what I just heard earlier, so you know. Uh, but this anime, you can really tell the difference in skills and characters, and it focuses so heavily on the music, which is really nice because. There are emotional scenes in this anime, but the music is what will get you. Like if you're, that is when you start feeling emotional when they're playing the music and you can really tell, it really feels like each piece was recorded by the artist for each episode. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's really what it feels like. And you can really feel the character's emotions come through on the piece, which is super nice. Um, yeah, and all the characters, none of them are really annoying. The only trope that I really didn't like is the, pansy main character kind of thing and that might be something where i'm like self-reflecting and i hate it because that was something i was kind of like when i was younger but either way i just really don't like that trope so he kind of mans up and it's not too drag drug out like i said this anime is kind of short it's like 13 episodes so they don't drag out like annoying stuff it kind of just moves on at a pretty good pace um but really each performance that the band does together is really amazing you can see how they're improving um also somebody was complaining about like one of the girl i feel like some of the characters are kind of realistic too and they show it in a couple ways somebody was complaining that one of the girls acted differently to girls than she did guys and i was like i don't know i've dated some chicks and that happens <laughs> like that's not i'm not saying everybody's like that I, i'm a guy and i act differently around girls than i do guys that's just how it is um i don't know if there are people that treat the girls and guys exactly the same i'm not like i am more likely to cuss around guys girls and they were complaining because she had like two sides to her they're like oh that two-faced bitch i was like it's not really being two-faced it's just like you know what uh you just have a way you like to act around certain groups so and it's just that when she was around guys she was more uh more upfront and when she was around girls she was more friendly so i was like it's not really being bad it's not a bad thing just how she, um, I don't know, just how she acts. I don't think it was a flaw of any sort. I think it was fine. And uh, it's like how some girls will be like, well, I, I have all dude friends instead of like, uh, oh, my friends are all girls. It's just, I don't know. You relate to people different ways and then you kind of get used to it. And then that's just kind of the people you look to make friends with. But I thought that was kind of realistic, but people apparently didn't like that. And, um, yeah it's short enough where it like i said it really i'd watch it i can't really do a good job of explaining it but it, every performance they had made me feel some kind of emotion like super uh i don't know if it was sad it, tug, it t tugged at my heartstrings that's for sure i don't know if it was exactly sad but it really made me uh get a lump in my throat and there's no like real scenes that are like super depressing or anything like that it's not something like a violent Evergarden where like I got a freaking ugly cry for a whole episode because it tore my heart out <laughs> but just the music really makes you feel emotions which is really cool so I definitely suggest it um, and also I've never heard the Koto before so it was really a neat experience hearing that kind of music I've never heard before which is really cool I like hearing new music uh, it's definitely not something I play like on my own but watching it in anime is really cool that's like anime makes things so much better for me like baseball i hate baseball baseball anime though i'm watching it probably uh but yeah i definitely recommend you checking it out if you haven't already 
Um, not much to say about it because it was super short. Uh, there was a montage scene, but it goes super fast because it's a short anime. And one thing I have to say, though, because it is short, it doesn't feel like all the characters lived up to their potential. And even though I think it was a statement that um, the end goal doesn't really matter, matter as much as them growing together and having a good time together and just making friends. I think that was the main point of the anime with their music was more important than like their end goal of winning nationals or whatnot. But I wish it would have went further because <laughs> I like the anime. Like usually if it was like a bad anime, I'm like, well, I'm glad it ended there, but that was a good one. And I would like to see more of it, but maybe it was a good ending just because it really emphasized the fact that the music was what is important. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. I'll try to get back to doing some anime reviews every now and then. It was never really a major focus for this channel, but something I still like enjoy doing. I like to talk about it and get people interested if possible. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye! <laughs>